Thank you, Nirmalo, for sharing about the work. Um, also, appreciate the introduction to Sharudha for, um, and thank you, Sharudha, for uh, sharing about the different community-led uh, restoration projects and reforestation projects that you are, uh, your team is leading in this region. Um, I have some questions, and I would love to have just a conversation and understand a little bit more on how these projects are going and what are the long-term vision and the plans. Uh, the women who are working here, uh, they are mostly housewives, mm. okay. and um, and they work from nine till about four thirty in the afternoon. Uh, and then, uh, so once this uh, thing has been taken care, and then the plantation is taken. Then we kind of take it, you know, with our own uh, vehicle or with the vehicle of the, you know, of the nursery guys mm. to the field Achha. and where the plantation has been taken care, Take of. And care of. So there are kind of a lot of pre-project work which needs to be done, the pit digging, the pit kind of needs to be kind of, you know, matured and stuff like that. So I think uh, the whole idea is how you can be able to kind of, you know, also create some sort of a livelihood in the nursery making. So that's one of the, you know, objective which we're trying to kind of see. These are relatively poorer parts of the uh, of this region because they are very near to the forest. There is not much scope for you know income generation. Uh, there is a lot of crop depredation by animals. So even agriculture is not very you know profitable in these landscapes. So what we also wanted to do with the with the disruption that COVID caused, we also thought out that maybe there is enough scope for these people. To, because they're disconnected from the markets, from the urban centers, you know, the marketplaces. Because they have available land in this, in their near about their homesteads. So we encourage that they they do you know vegetable planting, uh, adopting more sustainable farming practices, uh, you know, doing more diversified set of crops rather than just sticking to the paddy and jute, which is the mainstay of these uh, areas. But because of the remoteness of these areas. The, the diversification uh, and the connect with the marketplace is not very good. So, so we thought that maybe a good idea would be to take them off. And also, flight of labor is an additional concern. People are moving out, young generation is moving out. So, agriculture as a since it's a very labor-intensive thing, it takes a lot of effort. And with no manpower, that also become falling into disrepair. So we thought maybe we can come up with a carbon project here with tree plantation, carbon credits being a source of money to the community, a source of activity and livelihood to the uh, uh, community, uh, as well as sort of unite the community behind this idea of carbon markets and the financing opportunities it offers. That was the whole idea. And now we have been managed to do some plantation, uh, plantations in this particular village. January, February, March, April, May, so five months is basically the timeline by which we need to kind of have the achieve this another uh, 600,000 you know, saplings, saplings. Of, 11 varieties. of 11 varieties 11 native varieties 11 native varieties and then it is going into 2000 hectares is that correct 500 hectares, 500 hectares for, this for this year can you describe a little bit more about the pilots what across the district here across this district and uh, the immediately southern district of Kujbihar, this is Alipuddha district we have chosen some 50 odd beneficiaries for doing uh, this plantation, carbon plantation, uh, plantation, tree plantation with the aim of carbon sequestration uh, across about 35 hectares. So the whole idea of doing the pilot was understanding the logistics, the costs involved, you know, what, what, what works, what doesn't work, what type of fencing will work, what type of fencing will not work, what type of, uh, you know, what are the social dynamics of doing a plantation which, you know, takes the land off the table for other uses for 20 years. Mm -hmm. 
In those areas, when you say you have uh, done the pilot, means you have already talked to the communities around yeah, yeah. that. Those, those, and those, you know, all those focus group discussions, participatory appraisal of the lands and the livelihoods and the uh, pros cons of doing forestry versus agriculture, those discussions have been have had in much of these villages that constitute these 2500 hectares apiece in each of these districts. If the communities are exactly. interested, there yeah. is an opportunity to di diversify their uh, economic pathways. Exactly. And unless the communities are willing to participate, and if we can empower them through this mechanism, like uh, growing, uh, enabling them to have uh, nurseries to support the plantations yes. over here. Yes. I, we talked about the nutri gardens, yes. like we spoke to crop the food stuff, crop diversification. If we can bring that, and on top of that, if we can bring alternate livelihood mechanisms Absolutely. through yeah. uh, alternate uh, alternates from fuel wood. Finance mechanism to stop carbon, improve livelihoods, improve the resilience of these communities, uh, both from an economic standpoint and from a climate standpoint. The agricultural livelihood sector also more resilient. And it will also lead to less flight of people because now they will no longer have the uh, make it or break it situation that agriculture currently is in. Yeah. We have education related projects for a long time in, in western parts of uh, West Bengal province within the district of Birbhum. Uh, but more than that we have also got our other collaborators who are working in Purulia district Similarly, we are looking at alternative agriculture uh, management and cropping methods in Birbhum district. I'm seeing some birds flying in the horizon and I'm thinking of biodiversity credits as they go through this yeah. ecosystem yeah. and yeah. livelihood. Biodiversity because once we create these deforested patches, I'm sure it will become habitat for birds, small mammals, insects. Uh, insects.